All right, hello everybody. As you can see, this room here is mostly just filled with books so far, which is okay. So I thought I would take this opportunity to show you five of my favorite books, which I have laid out here. I'm just gonna flip through them a little bit, give you a cursory overlook, and uh, just a little reason why these five books um, encourage, excite, motivate, enthuse, uh, and inspire me in various ways. All right, this first book is called Rendering in Pen and Ink by Arthur L. Guttill. And uh, it's got a lot of words in it, right? Words are cool and all, but what I really like are all these illustrations. And I like looking really closely at the illustrations and just looking at the way the lines are put together. The lines in these drawings just make me really happy, really satisfied. They give me ideas for how to put lines together in my drawings, right? I like it a lot. This is a good book. And let's see, in the back here, there's a... Oh my goodness, look at this one. This is one of my favorite drawings, just the way the texture was done for the shading and this little overhang right here. Oh, that's such good hatching right there. I love that texture. And just the, the stone, oh. And these lines right here. Yeah, I love these lines right here. Those make me really happy. So I don't, just, I'm sure the words in this book help a lot, but mostly looking at the pictures helps me a lot. And there's lots of great illustrations in this one. And I just like looking at the way the, I, li I like looking at the way the other, I like looking at the way, what, what am I trying to say? I like looking at the way that other artists put their lines together. And then I get ideas and inspiration for how to put my lines together, right? And this book is just has so many great, great examples. And tells you how to, you know, if you want to learn how to draw masonry and furniture and stuff like that, you can draw masonry and furniture, but you can apply these techniques uh, to all sorts of other things. All right, there's a, whole, there's a whole lot going on here. It's very cool, All right? As you can see here, there's tons of examples, tons of words, depending on what you're into. This is a very cool book. Um, I'd recommend it to anyone who likes drawing or even people who don't like drawing. All right, next we have Art Forms in Nature by Ernst Haeckel. I think that's how you say it. Haeckel? I don't know. I have a couple of books by him. There's another one called, I think, Art Forms in the Ocean or something. Uh, but basically this guy was some sort of biologist or something. And uh, he made, he illustrated all these incredible, I think they're called plates or something, but these incredibly fine detailed uh, illustrations of like microorganisms. And these things just drive me crazy. I love the detail on them. I love all the, the tentacles. These books are just full of incredible drawings, as you can see here. Look at that. That's amazing. And this is, I guess this is a real thing in nature too, right? This isn't fiction, this is non-fiction. Oh yeah, that's some good tentacle action right there. Look at all the crazy stuff in here. There's endless. I mean, if you don't want to go out in nature and look at the stuff yourself, I mean, I guess this is how it looks under a microscope or something. Look at this book, pour through it. I'd, I'd recommend it to anyone. I'm probably gonna say that for all these books that I recommend it to anyone, but I mean, how cool is that? Are these pitcher plants? Just the, just the most awesome illustrations. I love them. Ernst Haeckel, Art Forms in Nature. All right, this next one, let me move over, is uh, by Lee Bontecou. I don't probably saying that, I'm probably gonna say all these wrong. Drawn Worlds. Uh, Lee, I mean, a lot of these drawings that Lee did, 
uh, don't look a whole lot like mine, but sometimes those are the, the type of drawings I get the most inspiration from. I feel like if the drawings look too much like mine, then I get too close to copying. You know what I mean? And I've seen a few of these drawings in real life. Well, actually not the drawings, but she did uh, some sculptures. I think there's some pictures of the sculpture. I, I love books that have pictures of artists' sketchbooks like this when they're planning things out. Ooh, I love this a lot. Now, I want to make I want to make it clear that the only way I can show you only five of my books is that um, uh, I can show you like at least five more later. Like I'm not good at favorites, so uh, if I can, you know, these aren't my five favorite books or five favorite artists. Okay, they're just five I'm picking out. They just happen to be the five I picked out first. Okay, there's there's tons more there's tons more great books I have over there. Uh, all of them are amazing, and I love to show you all of them, but just five for the... Yeah, see, like, I've seen some, uh, installation pieces like this by Lee in, uh, in museums, and they just hang on the wall, and it feels like you're gonna fall into them. They're like, they, they come out of the wall and suck you in at the same time. It's really, they're huge, too. They're huge. They, like, take up a whole wall. It's really cool. But, yeah, I like these. I love, I love just, like, this subtle... My favorite ones are probably like, just like this, the ones with all these subtle gradations, gradients and stuff. The weird like black holes and stuff. I don't know, like these ones. I like these a lot for some reason. Probably because they're kind of unlike mine. I don't know. Very cool artist, Lee. All right. This next one, uh, this, this book has no drawings in it at all. It's a short book. You read it, I think it has chapters even. It's called Art and Fear, Observations on the Perils and Rewards of Art Making, David Bales and Ted Orland. It's just a book that I think is very relatable and encouraging. Uh, it's about making art and the struggles of it, you know, obviously that's what it says. It's just one of those things that vocalizes a lot of the things and struggles uh, that you go through when you're making art and it and it makes you realize i mean like you're not the only one going through those problems and it, and it helps you think through them and realize them and uh start to overcome them a little bit and i think it it, it has helped me a lot this book has and i mean i if you're if you're drawing things making art and uh i, I I mean, you can read this in an afternoon, probably. It's a short book, but I think it's good. I think it'll encourage you and help you. And this last book, I couldn't leave out Mobius. I mean, I had to. I mean, I have, I have a lot of Mobius books. Not as many as some people. I wish I had more, uh, but uh, I don't know. I just, just love them, you know? There's uh, so many... This is a random, this book has kind of a hodgepodge collection. I think this is the first Mobius book I ever got actually, which is, which is why I like it the best. Uh, and there's all sort back here towards the back has, I like it cause it's got kind of, um, it's got some more of that sketchbook action that I kind of like. I like that a lot. Maybe not so, oh, I think I skipped by it, but you see. I like this one also because it has some of the colored and uncolored stuff. He's just so talented, inspiring. I can't, I have to stop myself from looking at Mobius too much. Otherwise my drawings start looking very Mobius-y, you know, completely Mobius-y, which isn't the worst thing in the world because uh, Mobius is awesome. But I do want a little bit of personal, you know, like my own look. I don't want to just you know, be a Mobius clone personally, even though that would be an honor, but still. I mean, I can't, I wish I could draw people. This guy, I can't draw people. Anyways, thank you for watching everybody. I'll put the links or I'll list the books in the description, maybe where you can buy them. I don't know if they're all for sale. They probably are, but uh, hopefully I'll show you some more books later. Hopefully this, they can help you if you look at them. I don't know. I don't know. I just want to share a few things with you. People always ask what inspires me. Um, these books inspire me. 
when I look at them sometimes. All right. Goodbye, everybody.